So I'm hearing a lot of murmuring about this Jeff uh, Utica uh, uh, trade to the Falcons. You know, he was a former number three pick. I wasn't big on him. People loved this, loved him the combine. Um, you know, I just I didn't think he was that much of an explosive player. I didn't think he made such made a, a wild impact on the game. Um, but you know, he is a number three pick, and there's potential in that. Um, you know, he had injuries. Pretty much, he played ten games since he's been in the, in, in the NFL. Um, over his first two seasons, um, you know, he started, I think, 15 games. Uh, he started 15 games for the Lions in 2022. Um, he played his, you know, played a good season early in the season, uh, this season, but, um, you know, he had career highs in tackles, pass defended, uh, has first career pick this year. Um, but um, the Lions just added Cameron Sutton, Cam Sutton, and then also Emmanuel Mosley in free agency. These guys are post, uh, pretty much will most likely to be starters. Um and he's going to a group, you know, that's pretty competitive, right? You know, this this group, Atlanta has Jesse Bates. They just added Calais Campbell, uh, uh, Daniel, Daniel Onyometa, uh, Caden Ellis. Uh, and he'll be, be competing for a job with Casey Hayward and A.J. Terrell. So that's a, that's a, that's a deep secondary. Um, you know, if you have three cover guys, you know, you, you know, you can pretty much play nickel in all game. And, you know, looking at uh, uh, A.J. Terrell, Utica and Casey, these are guys that all you know go up and they they make they play make plays when it comes to making tackles. Um, so, uh, but the thing is, I, I I don't I don't I don't think that Utica is that I, he has potential to, but I don't think that he's that a phenomenal player uh, that you know it should make waves. You know, he got really lost this year. He almost kind of essentially lost his position this year. Um, you know, he was out there, you know, he was out there and, and, you know, he, he looked lost. Um, he looked like, you know, he was getting beaten coverage, uh, quite a bit. Um, you know, he, you know, he played fair, played fair in zone. Uh, but I, I don't know if it was because he, you know, the first two years, he just, you know, wasn't on the field and he was just kind of like his first season of getting on the field. Um, I do think the Detroit Lions traded him early, uh, but, you know, we'll see. Now, this this rot this is this is a deep roster now. Atlanta has, you know, uh, I think AJ Terrell, you know, was drafted after after Jeff Utica, and AJ Terrell has had a solid career. So I'm not I'm not wildly like, oh wow, they lost they they traded uh, Utica. You know, I'm not I'm not really big on that. I don't think it's like too much. That's that much to you know. That's something huge to talk about. But I will say that um, I'm excited to see how he fits in there uh, with Atlanta. Uh, I think that uh, you know having five cornerbacks and maybe, maybe even moving Casey Hayward to the nickel, since you know um, he's you know he's a veteran in the game and having him be able to play you know a little bit have a little bit more freedom on the field may make a change where he you know Ode can, Jeff can be that one guy. So we'll see what happens to Jeff. Um, but Atlanta, they I do think I do think they got a good one.